Hi everybody, and welcome to Drawing the Eye. This is a brief time-lapse video tutorial designed to give you a better understanding of the structure underneath the eye and how to apply that knowledge while drawing. To begin with, the basic structure of the eye is a sphere. This sphere sits inside of an eye socket, and it's important to establish the relationship between the two before you move on with your drawing. A quick note about the iris, it's bigger than most people think, it's important to draw it in perspective. It wraps around the eyeball. The eyelids also wrap around the sphere of the eyeball. The bottom lid doesn't move much, but you can think of the top lid as a curtain that opens and closes over the eye. Note that the inner slope of the eyelid is much steeper than the outer slope. This is an easy tip to remember while drawing. Also note that the eyelids have some thickness to them. They have enough thickness that they can even cast a tiny shadow in some circumstances. So with the basic structure in place, it now helps to determine a light source. With that light source established, it's going to be much easier to imagine light moving across the forms and different forms casting shadows. And remember, the whites of the eyes are spherical. So build your shadows up slowly, keep your light source in mind, and don't be afraid to erase. Here we're building up the mid-tone drawing and avoiding getting too fixated on any one detail. When you start to block in the eyebrows and eyelashes, think about them in terms of thickness, masses, and clumps, and don't get focused on tiny, intricate hairs. Once you have a good mid-tone drawing in place, you can easily add more shadow and detail. You can start stitching in those individual eyebrows and eyelashes, and you can start enhancing the contrast and detail of your drawing overall. A few notes on the iris. It's usually darker near the outer edges, and it also helps to imagine its texture as radiating out from the pupil. Here we're adding a little bit more detail and just building up the drawing. And once we're satisfied with it, it's going to be much easier to add some color. For this example, I was using the Brushes app for the iPad, and I just created a new layer with the blend mode set to color, and you can see it was really easy to get the color in there really quickly. So that's it. Thanks for watching.